The first thing we'll cover is communication from teacher to the group of students that you have already set up. When I log into my Schoology account, this is what you'll see. You'll see all the recent posts of people, um, or students in your class, as well as posts that you've done. Um, but if you want to do a new post, we're going to go here um, to where it says post, and then I'm going to click an update. I want to update them on something. You'll go ahead and go to this box and type your message. You can use all of these formatting tools to change up the font if you'd like. And then you need to choose who you want to post it to. For elementary school teachers, you normally will have one class. You might have two um, courses if you teach a math class, if you guys switch, for, um, switch math groups. And so I want to pick my class that's who I want to send it to. That's what I named it, 2013-2014 fifth grade. And then I'll go ahead and post that. Okay, now on their recent activity, they will see my message and they will have the opportunity to comment. Another way to foster the communication through Schoology is for, from the student to either the whole class um, and the teacher or just the teacher. You can see here in this post, um, a student was asking if they had to bring their iPads to school today. So they posted it to the whole class and their classmates helped them to find the answer by commenting on their post. Sometimes what students will do if they forgot part of their homework at home is they'll ask. If you look at this post right here, this student asked if someone could please send or post the math page. And so after that, a student helped that student out and um, posted, took pictures of the math page and posted it. And that way, the student who forgot it could still do their homework. That's my favorite part. Students also have the ability to send you a private message so that it's not shown on the recent activity wall. I have logged into a student account. Um, all the student would have to do is press, uh, click on this envelope here that's messages. Click on new message. And then they can try to type in their classmates um, names, but they won't come up. Only the teacher's name will come up. So she, that student will go ahead and click there. And then they just type their message. All right, and then they click send. And then that would, um, a private message would be sent to the teacher account. That way it's not shown there on the wall. So what you're going to do if you're going to set up an assignment is you can click here on post. And we'll do a very simple assignment just as, a, just as an example. Okay, so I'm going to name it one sentence about summer. In my description, I might add, write one. Dis so I put the description here. They're, they're just going to write one descriptive sentence about their summer and they're going to use a word processing document to submit it. Okay? If you'd like to, you can add different links um, and attach them so they're to look at them um, or different files. If you want to um, do a file, you can do that. Um, but I'm just going to keep it pretty simple. Okay, I'm going to make this worth 10 points. And then I'm going to pick where I'm going to post it to. Okay, so I posted it to my class. I'm going to have it due on the 27th. What that means is after the 27th at 11.59 p.m., it will disappear. Um, and they will not be able to work on it or see the description at all. If you don't put a due date, it will just stay on Schoology and the students will be able to see it all the time. 
okay? I'm gonna leave these unmarked or leave it just the same and then I'm gonna click create. Okay, just for you to know, to find that assignment, you're gonna go to the course that you posted it under and it's highlighted this materials part. You're gonna go down to assignments and here it is, the one sentence about summer. If you click on it, as the teacher, you'll be able to see if anybody comments to ask questions about it. It will go here. And here is all the students that have submitted. And see there are 32 kids in my class. Zero have submitted them. Once they're here, you can click on them and read them and give them a grade.